Little hermit crabs. Hermit crabs are anomeran decapod crustaceans of the superfamily Pagueroidea that have adapted to occupy empty scavenged mollusk shells to protect their fragile exoskeletons. There are over 800 species of hermit crab, most of which possess an asymmetric abdomen concealed by a snug-fitting shell. Hermit crab's non-calcified abdominal exoskeleton makes their exogenous shelter system obligatory. Hermit crabs must occupy shelter produced by other organisms, or risk being defenseless. The strong association between hermit crabs and their shelters has significantly influenced their biology. Almost 800 species carry mobile shelters, most often calcified snail shells. This protective mobility contributes to the diversity and multitude of crustaceans found in almost all marine environments. In most species, development involves metamorphosis from symmetric, free-swimming larva to morphologically asymmetric, benthic-dwelling, shell-seeking crabs. Such physiological and behavioral extremes facilitate transition to a sheltered lifestyle, revealing the extensive evolutionary lengths that led to their superfamily success. Biological Description Most species have long, spirally curved abdomens, which are soft, unlike the hard, calcified abdomens seen in related crustaceans. The vulnerable abdomen is protected from predators by a salvaged empty seashell carried by the hermit crab, into which its whole body can retract. Most frequently, hermit crabs use the shells of sea snails, although the shells of bivalves and scaphopods and even hollow pieces of wood and stone are used by some species. The tip of the hermit crab's abdomen is adapted to clasp strongly onto the columella of the snail shell. Most hermit crabs are nocturnal. Environment. Hermit crabs can be divided into two groups. Photo of four hermit crabs. Four hermit crabs in an aquarium. The first group is the marine hermit crabs, with a single species, Clibinarius fonticola, in freshwater. These crabs spend most of their life underwater as aquatic animals, live in varying depths of saltwater from shallow reefs and shorelines to deep sea bottoms and rarely leave for land. As pets, several marine species of hermit crabs are common in the marine aquarium trade. They are commonly kept in reef fish tanks. They breathe through gills but they don't have to carry around their water to do so. Most can survive briefly out of water as long as their gills are damp. However, this ability is not as developed as it is in land hermit crabs. A few species do not use a mobile home and inhabit immobile structures left by polychaete worms, vermited gastropods, corals, and sponges. The second group, the land hermit crabs, spend most of their life on land as terrestrial species in tropical areas, though even they require access to both freshwater and saltwater to keep their gills damp or wet to survive and to reproduce. They belong to the family Cenobitidae. Of the approximately 15 terrestrial species of genus Cenobita in the world, the following are commonly kept as pets. Caribbean hermit crab Cenobita clipidus, Australian land hermit crab Cenobita variabilis, and the Ecuadorian hermit crab Cenobita compressus. Other species, such as Cenobita brevimanus, Cenobita rugosus, Cenobita perlatus or Cenobita cavipes, are less common but growing in availability and popularity as pets. Shells and shell competition. Underwater photo of a hermit crab and gastropod shell. Hermit crabs fighting over a shell. A hermit crab retracted into a shell of Acanthina punctulata and using its claws to block the entrance. As hermit crabs grow, they require larger shells. Since suitable intact gastropod shells are sometimes a limited resource, vigorous competition often occurs among hermit crabs for shells. The availability of empty shells at any given place depends on the relative abundance of gastropods and hermit crabs, matched for size. 
An equally important issue is the population of organisms that prey upon gastropods and leave the shells intact. Hermit crabs kept together may fight or kill a competitor to gain access to the shell they favor. However, if the crabs vary significantly in size, the occurrence of fights over empty shells will decrease or remain non-existent. Hermit crabs with too small shells cannot grow as fast as those with well-fitting shells, and are more likely to be eaten if they cannot retract completely into the shell. As the hermit crab grows in size, it must find a larger shell and abandon the previous one. Several hermit crab species, both terrestrial and marine, have been observed forming a vacancy chain to exchange shells. When an individual crab finds a new empty shell it will leave its own shell and inspect the vacant shell for size. If the shell is found to be too large, the crab goes back to its own shell and then waits by the vacant shell for up to 8 hours. As new crabs arrive they also inspect the shell and, if it is too big, wait with the others, forming a group of up to 20 individuals holding on to each other in a line from the largest to the smallest crab. As soon as a crab arrives that is the right size for the vacant shell and claims it, leaving its old shell vacant, then all the crabs in the queue swiftly exchange shells in sequence, each one moving up to the next size. Hermit crabs often, gang up, on one of their species with what they perceive to be a better shell, and pry its shell away from it before competing for it until one takes it over. There are cases when sea shells are not available and hermit crabs will use alternatives such as tin cans or any other types of debris or even custom-made shells. For some larger marine species, supporting one or more sea anemones on the shell can scare away predators. The sea anemone benefits, because it is in position to consume fragments of the hermit crab's meals. Other very close symbiotic relationships are known from encrusting bryozoans and hermit crabs forming bryoliths. Somboxat thank you for watching.